I was in um, in this rehab for 30 days, and they said in rehab you can only you can only bring a Bible. So of course I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? Is this a cult? They said when you first got there that you have to admit that you're powerless and your life's become unmanageable. And I was like, I didn't really believe that, but then I started looking at myself in the mirror and thinking about what my wife said. You're green, you know. You you have sores on your face. You haven't brushed your teeth in a month. Uh, you might not see it, Justin, but you're not the same person. I started thinking about those things. I started thinking about the time when I picked up a trash can and threw it towards my wife when she was pregnant. And the rage and the anger that was in me. And then I said, yeah, okay, my life's unmanageable. We can get down and dirty on that. And they said, okay, well, your second step is that uh, you, uh, you have to find a higher power, something to believe in other than yourself. Because whenever you believe in yourself, well, we're not believe, whenever you drive your ship, you drive it right into the rocks, don't you? And I'm like, yeah, you know me too well. 60 days into it, and I'm living in this halfway house. I still haven't found this higher power. And I remember one morning at 6 a.m., I walk out on the back porch, and uh, this day changed my life. I looked up at the sky and said, if you're up there, you're going to show yourself today. I want it. I've never wanted something so much. Show me a burning bush right now. Nothing. I'm like, oh my god, this is so annoying. I've got to get past step two. And I looked up at the sky, and all of a sudden I start seeing this bee flying around. And I remember thinking to the bee, oh great. Here I am trying to find my higher power, and I can't even concentrate because I hate bees. I can't stand bees. If they sting me, they hurt. Bottom line, right? So this bee's flying around, and I'm looking up at the sky going, if you're up there, please, God, can I call you God? If that's what you are, they all tell me that they found you. So bring it down to me, simple and stupid. I've done way too much damage on my brain. Let's just talk to me like I'm an idiot. And then I'm looking at this bee, and I see this big can and on this big can, it says wasp killer in big white letters, bold white letters on a big jumbo black can. And I remember thinking to myself, why would anyone need that big of a can? And this wasp keeps coming and I'm trying to concentrate and I'm fluing off the wasp and get, oh my gosh. And then I was like, just make it simple, God, make it simple. Then all of a sudden I see this wasp, boom, 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 starts beating his head against this wasp can. And I'm thinking, that's a dumb, dumb wasp. Why the hell, why the hell would you try to get into that wasp can? When you've seen millions of, I started laughing, you've seen millions of your homies die from that shit, and still you want to get you some. Are you serious? Is it that simple? Right then, right then and there. I can't tell you how special that was. You can't explain it, you can't, because you can't have someone sitting there beating you over the head with a Bible telling you, it's time, son, it's time. I had to have it in the most idiotic way. I found my higher power in a wasp can. Today, I don't have to fall apart. And I don't have to be afraid.